In Israel right now, around 2% of the population is Christian and around 20% of the population is Muslim. Not everyone in Israel is Jewish. Not everyone in Israel keeps kosher. Not every restaurant in Israel is kosher, although there are a lot of kosher restaurants, which is really nice. And all over Israel, there are churches and mosques. I actually went to the Holy Sepulchre this summer. I don't usually go into churches, but I felt like this was really important to learn history and to be there in that spot where Jesus was crucified and buried. I feel like you're not supposed to take pictures, but I kind of snuck this one. And we also walked the Via de la Rosa, which is the walk that Jesus did on his way to be crucified. And actually, when you're in Israel, you will see not only English and Hebrew, but Arabic on every sign. In the old city of Jerusalem, there are four quarters. There's the Jewish quarter, the Christian quarter, the Armenian quarter, and the Muslim quarter. Now, I want to be clear that these are not segregated quarters. People are not forced to live there. In fact, of any of those backgrounds, ethnicities, religions, you can live anywhere. Last night, I actually went to an event where Pastor Harris from Chicago announced that he is moving to Israel. And then he sang the most incredible Hatikvah. I'll play you a little bit of it now. Hatikvah is the Israel national anthem. Oh. 